I'm Joey Nallen, I'm the CEO of Age Inc. Apparel. So, uh, the initial idea came from uh, just simply winning a jersey design contest. So, um, about two years ago, I was just doing freelance design and uh, a semi-professional team was running a contest. I just submitted a jersey design and it happened to win. So um, that kind of sat with me for like a year and uh, moving out on my own, I was like, man, I'm not really ready to get into anything serious in terms of like a career uh, or going to college. So um, I just kind of started digging into the entrepreneurial world. And that's when I kind of went back to winning that jersey design contest and it's like, okay, so what skills am I, what skills do I have? You know, like what am I good at? And how can I use that to get something off the ground within three months time? So that was the goal. It was like three months, I want to be able to pay my rent with this or no. Within three months, I had taken just jersey design as a freelance job and turned it into a design and print agency uh, that I called Agent Inc. Apparel. And essentially from there, we started building. At first, it was just jersey design um, and we were sourcing uh, manufacturer and printing there. And then uh, later we started doing streetwear, lifestyle, and then now we're working with collegiate esports teams and things like that. Uh, for a long time, we were just doing amateur esports teams. Uh, ideally, we would transition into professional teams, but uh, working with professional esports teams is extremely difficult and it's hard to even get a hold of them in the first place. So we were still building our portfolio and uh, at that time I was trying to figure out really the foundation of Age Inc, like going back to the basics. So I enrolled in the Center for Entrepreneurship's e-launch program. So Center for Entrepreneurship uh, basically has this program that uh, you can enroll in, it's six weeks and uh, you're working directly with mentors to try to, to kind of uh, lay out a foundation for your business and make sure that your idea is valuable and it actually makes sense. Um, so I did that and one of my mentors over there put me in touch with Tyler, uh, which was where this all started with WSU. From there, it was clear that we wanted to work with collegiate esports teams moving forward. Uh, WSU so far has been phenomenal. Uh, Tyler, the uh, coordinator of esports, has been just so eager to get things moving and uh, on, on, a, on a tight time frame that we've been able to really uh, take a creative process and, and just smooth it along. And college esports teams are just starting up, so they're really eager to make a name for themselves and uh, establish a brand through anything that they can. And one of those aspects is definitely apparel and clothing, uh, which is growing in the industry as a whole, not just jerseys, but further than that, uh, streetwear and lifestyle apparel. So this guy here uh, was definitely a process, but it was actually pretty easy and natural. So um, like from start to finish, it only took like maybe three weeks to get to the initial concept to the final design. Uh, I think mainly that is likely because the WCU Esports team already has such great branding. So we just took those aspects, which you can see here on the side panel. Um, so this line work uh, on the side panel here is, is something that you'll see on the uh, WSU Esports Twitter branding and uh, also on any like, uh, like out there there's like a poster, uh, things like that. So I just tried to carry that through the jersey as well and accentuate that. So I, I think it is fairly, uh, fairly unique to the WSU Esports team. And, so I, I kind of wanted to perpetuate that. Further than that, I think that a lot of people are just excited to have something that they can wear that represents what they're a part of. You know, if you're a part of the basketball team or the football team, you obviously like the first thing you get is a jersey, you know, like, so um, with the esports program, that wasn't a thing beforehand. So to have something that represents the team that they can wear and also shows that I'm an active community member and doing something or an active team member, I think that probably feels pretty great for a lot of them. The quick answer, like the easiest answer, it would be no excuses. Like, just don't make excuses. Uh, take your idea and start up the online uh, platforms that you need to do it. So maybe you have to have a manufacturer, maybe you have to have um, 
a partner of some kind to get this done. But don't worry about that yet. Don't worry about like all the logistics. Just start with manifesting your idea, at least in the digital world. So there are a lot of platforms that you can set up for free. Obviously you've got Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Set up your mock idea, your business on there and try to socially validate what it is. Start with the things that are easiest. So maybe it's gonna take time to get somebody to invest in your company. Maybe it'll take time to find a manufacturer that is capable of doing what you wanna do. But set up a website, you know, set up a uh, social media account and go from there, you know, get some social validation and uh, then start talking to people. The most valuable thing that I have probably ever done for my company is just talk to people randomly wherever. I've saved my company a n number of times by talking to people that I thought I should never approach. You know, one, one time specifically, I was like, I'm definitely not in the position to approach this person, right? But I need to, or I think they might have value, and so I did. And sure enough, they like saved me thousands of dollars, you know. So talk to people, take action, essentially. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and click on the link below.